Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you quickly how to turn your corner to corner project into a rectangle because obviously the normal corner to corner pattern um, ends up making a square and I've noticed a lot of people asking how to make it into a rectangular shape instead. So what you need to do first of all is follow my original corner to corner tutorial which I will pop a link to in the description below. And you want to follow that tutorial until you get to your desired width. So you'll be working on the diagonal here, but you want to make sure that your width is based on your straight edge at the bottom. So say for example if you were doing a bedspread, you would want to make sure that this bottom edge here is wide enough for your single bed. So obviously your single bed will be the rectangular shape and you would want to make sure that this bottom edge is wide enough to go across the bottom of your bed. And then you want to start working your rectangle and it will work lengthways up like this. So if you follow that original tutorial until you get to your width and then pop back to this video here. So this is where the pattern will change straight away once you've finished your last row to get your desired width and you've completed your last block on this row. Um, you won't chain six like you would normally do. You'll simply turn your work around like this and then you will slip stitch into the tops of these stitches um, because to make the rectangle shape we're going to start a decrease but we're only going to decrease on one side and we will decrease on the same side every time. Um, so to start off with you want to do your slip stitch into the tops of the trebles or doubles if the U US. So to slip stitch you're just going to insert your hook straight into the top of that stitch and then just slip stitch and then you will do it again into the next one. A slip stitch, oops, do that one again. <laughs> so slip stitch into the top and then once you've slip stitched into those two you're going to slip stitch into the normal chain space where you would normally be working your stitches so slip stitch into there as well and now you're going to carry on as normal and chain three and work your three trebles or your three doubles if you're in the US. That's one two, three and then you're going to slip stitch into the top of the next one and then you'll chain three again. So now that you've done your decrease on that side you're just going to work the rest of the way along your row as normal. Um, so if you want to carry on continuing across your row and then meet me back when you get to your second to last um, square and we'll just carry on from there. Okay so I've just completed my trebles into my second to last square and I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the last square as normal and we are going to work our increase on this side so to work your increase that simply means complete your square as you normally would so you're going to do your chain three and then your three trebles into the top of this last square. And then because we want to work our increase again and we're always going to work the increase on the same side so wherever you've done your extra box or your extra square um, you need to make sure that you do the exact same thing again on that side. So you're going to chain six as you normally would because we're going to work our increase again on this same side. So I've done my six and then going to into my fourth chain along. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to do my trebles as normal as you normally would. And then attach 
notch it like you usually do and then you're going to work across your row again as normal so if you want to carry on and then meet me back at the second to last square again and then I'll show you what to do when you reach the other side. So I'm back at the other side now and I'm just working in my second to last square so I'm just going to do my trebles as you normally would. And now we're back at the other side. Now if you remember when we started out this is where we did our decrease on this side. So we're going to do exactly the same thing again. We're going to do the decrease because you always want your decrease on the same side and then you always want your increase on the opposite side. So you're going to attach that last square and then you're not going to chain six like you normally would. You're going to turn your work straight round and then you're going to slip stitch into the tops of those three stitches all the way along. That's two, three, and then you're going to slip stitch into the chain space like you normally would. And then you'll start again working your way along the row. And you can see we're getting the nice straight edge where we're working our decreases. And you'll now carry on back along your row in the exact same way as you do normally and then I'll just meet you one last time at the other end and just show you where you're working your increase on the opposite side so I'll meet you back there when you get towards the end of your row. So again I'm just back at the other side of my work again now and I've just done my trebles into my second to last square and I'm going to slip stitch across into that last space and again this is the side that we're working our increases on so you will complete your square as normal with your trebles and then because this is the side that we're doing the increases on you'll do your chain six and you'll turn and then you'll work back down once more doing your normal trebles into all of your spaces and then when you get to your second to last one you'll do your trebles into this one here and then you'll join them to the top and then this will be your decrease side so again you'll just slip stitch into the top here and then you'll turn and you'll slip stitch across the top of these and you'll work your way back down so you can pause the video or rewind the video as many times as you need to just to get the pattern down. So you can see this is already look, starting to look much more rectangular than it did at the beginning. You've got your longer edge going across here and then you'll have your shorter edge on the other side where you've been working your decreases instead. And then once you get to whichever side you need to, you can start doing your decreases on both sides. And if you're not sure how to work back down to your point on the opposite side to your other corner and um, just go back to my original corner to corner video and just skip along to the decrease section. Now, I really do hope that this tutorial has been useful. I know I struggled at first to find one to show me how to do the rectangle shape instead of the square. So if you did enjoy the tutorial just give me a quick thumbs up, I always really appreciate it and if you want to leave any comments or questions in the section below please feel free and remember to subscribe for all my future videos. But as always thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.